Nah, I'm not gonna lie. This is crazy. Like, I, I haven't been keeping up with the JJK manga for a while. Like, I've been seeing all of the spoilers because before you can even read the chapter, you can pretty much know everything that happens in the chapter. Like, you know, it's been going crazy. People been dying, people been getting cut apart. It's been a really long fight, to be honest with you. Like, this is a really, really long fight. It's a lot of people just popping in, popping out, people coming back. But recently, I don't know if you guys seen, there was rumors about Gojo being back. Basically, uh, Sukuna seeing like Gojo's shadow and stuff. And it's kind of like a little bit of mystery to it. Well, it's now finally been revealed. And the reveal in itself is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's actually insane. I want to say, uh, oh, I'll say this uh, first of all. I think that JJK is good. I think JJK is a great anime. I think it's a great manga better animated manga to me just simply because seeing all the amazing animation that they've done over the first two seasons it just it just looks crazy that's just one thing uh second is huh what is going on right now like like bro we have spoiler alert if you guys haven't seen it if you have not seen the chapter you want to read it or whatever definitely go read it we have gojo back with the ghetto scars with the yuta inside his body this is actually crazy so yuta got wrecked he absorbs Kenjaku's curse technique, which, which which probably means that for the people that were hoping Kenjaku was going to come up and do something crazy, it's over with. For the people that was hoping that Gojo was still alive, it's kind of over with. Because in a way, he's alive, but not really. He's dead. You know, and it's kind of crazy. A lot of people are still hoping on the theory that uh, by them showing that Geto's body was still responsive a little bit, like he still had a little bit of muscle memory, that Gojo could somehow come back from the dead from that. Uh, but we pretty much have Yuta inside of Gojo's body. Obviously, we know that Yuta is part of Gojo's like clan. He's like related to him or something, like cousin or something. I forgot what the right relation was. Um, we also knew that Yuta was like they also hinted at about him being the next Gojo, but nobody knew that he was literally going to become Gojo. If you think about it, bro, that's kind of like an insane amount of like OP hacked ability. You see the panel where they're showing like the infinite void and such. It's like infinite void and the shrine is like going right back at it. I honestly don't know how this is going to end. I, I have my theories. I feel like a lot of people saying that they think that Yuta is going to actually like sacrifice itself again, like to the like fully sacrifice itself. Uh, and just like somehow like taking, takes the cool down or weaken him to a point where he can actually be defeated. I'm not gonna lie. I, how do you feel about this actual, like in terms of writing? I want to know how you guys feel because to me, it's strange. But it's something that nobody kind of expected. Nobody thought about that Yuta could do that. Considering that he's allowed to copy techniques. Nobody really thought he was going to be able to do that. Uh, we know that I think he has a limit on his techniques, right? He can only copy a technique for five minutes. So I'm assuming that he's going to like die maybe. I don't know if this like the technique is over with. Once it's, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's just already inside Gojo. So it's like maybe he stays. I don't know. But I, I'm assuming that it might be some stuff where he might die or Yuta might get his original body back or something and Gojo might stay dead. But it's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's like a fake out. They showed Gojo coming back and they wanted people to see him coming back, but in an unexpected way. And then you see the scars on his head. He's like, OK, so Gojo's kind of dead, right? Because like you in order to use that crest technique, you got to take the brain out or something. It's something crazy. You got to hollow the head. So basically, they took Gojo's body and did that. I do actually got to read the chapter, though, because I've, I've been slacking on reading them, like just to know more information. But the spoilers going out right now is insane, bro. That's all I'm saying. The spoilers are literally insane. Gojo is back, but Yuta is inside his body. Uh, you know, they had that fake picture going around about Yuta, uh, Yuta using uh, purple and such. It's like now Yuta has the ability of the six eyes. He, has the, he basically has Gojo back. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Considering that Sukuna's already taken so much damage, so much stuff has happened already. Having a Gojo, whether it's for five minutes or not, is going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I, I think that, uh, I think it's an interesting writing choice. I don't think I hate it. A lot of people say they would have rather had Gojo just come back and they would have, you know what I'm saying, rather than this whole thing. But this actually shows how drastic it is. Because in reality, if Yuta can't go get his original body back, because he look, he's sliced in half and everything. But if he can't get that back, it's like, he's going to be dead. It's just so many going to be dead. Uh, his his brothers are dead. Like everybody's gonna have to be dead, bro. So it's I don't know. We've seen a lot of return of a lot of characters. It's apparently in the final stages. Hopefully it just doesn't drag on. Like just do it. Sukuna so and Gojo clash again. I'm kind of curious. Do we? For me, I think I hope that. Uh, I'll put it this way. 
I, I feel like Gojo is actually dead. Like, I feel like now he's not coming back. If yes, it's pretty much been put in the coffin. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Kenjaku's coming back. I think that uh, since Sukuna is the final boss, like everybody's fighting him, I would like it if like they kind of bring touch upon that muscle memory thing with Geto, how he like was still fighting inside and like kind of bring Gojo back for like 10 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like just to just to fully like maybe like to save Yuta because Yuta doesn't really know how to like really super maneuver his powers and stuff like to use all his powers. Maybe like a little bit of muscle memory of Gojo. But yeah, you know, I honestly think I'm really liking this chapter. So I'm really liking the direction it's going in. I, I'm not surprised about it, but I don't hate it. Like I was never really a big Gojo fan. I really was not like super upset that he died. I kind of was like, whoa, that's kind of crazy that he died so early that they're just done with him. And then all these people jumping in and out to fight, they're taking his body. So we just, we know there's some stuff going on. You know and I mean, with all the reverse t techniques and stuff, I even thought at one point the Gojo was going to become the final villain. Like it was, it was all a, a plot or something. Like, cause he died mad fast. I mean, it was a cool fight. I am wrong, but he died fast. Uh, that's all I'm saying. But with that being said, guys, I don't know. Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think in terms of whether or not this is a good writing twist. I think it kind of threw a, few, a lot of people for loops. So that's kind of good in its own right. But with that being said, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.